Welcome back to our YouTube channel, a new day, a new Halloween themed makeup tutorial. And for today I am all inspired by Vanellope from the Wrecked Ralph movies, of course. So I love the Wrecked Ralph movies, they always make me smile when I watch them with my kids. And that is why I decided to put Vanellope on my list of Halloween videos. So if you want to know how I created this Vanellope, please keep watching because I will show you step by step in the coming video. So today's video is going to be one of the tricky ones, at least for me, because I'm going to try to turn myself into a child, trying to become Vanellope, of course. Um, and as I am far from a child anymore, I think this will be a tricky video. So I'm just coloring the outside of my eyebrows because Vanellope has a rather different eye shape or eyebrow shape that is than I do. So I put a bit of Prosade over my eyebrows or at least the end of my eyebrows and by putting the orange over there it will become easier to cover them once I start using the foundation. So this is enough with the orange. I will also put a bit of that orange color under my eyes. I will put a bit less there. The point of doing this is to get rid of the bags I have under my eyes and the color difference to the rest of my face because of course I am not a child anymore. So I'm just making this a thin layer. It doesn't have to be a lot, just that orange needs to be there. And before I will continue with the foundation I really need to set this orange because otherwise it will blend to my foundation and then you get all orange spots in the foundation. So there is one eyebrow here is the other one now this base is done we're going to continue to the foundation and the foundation i'm going to use is in the matte hd foundation palette by ben nye and the color i'm going to use is this one it is color p42 and i will put it on my skin using my smoothie blender So now the foundation is on my skin, I'm going to set it with loads of the Neutral Set Powder by Ben Nye. As I obviously want to hide the fact that I actually have kids in Vanellope's age group, I am going to try to hide the bags under my eyes from lack of sleep that those lovely kids gave me over the years. So I'm just going in with a very light foundation. Actually, this is not a foundation. Let me check. This is the Cream Contour Wheel by Ben Nye. It is the CBW1, the light. And I'm going in with this color. So I'm just gonna lighten up all the areas that I need to be a bit lighter. So she has a very special nose, that's why I'm Putting the light tone on my nose as well, as she only has the tip of her nose. And blending that into the base foundation a bit. And once that's on there, we want to set that with the powder as well. So I'm just doing this with a brush, as it is the area under my eye. And I always put on way too much powder, but you can always brush anything you don't need away again. For the eyebrows I'm gonna work with a water-based face paint. This is the Basic Black by Meron and I've just got a detail brush to paint those eyebrows over my own eyebrows and well, pull them back a bit where I covered my natural brows. So I have a reference picture. Continuing to the Fashion Blush palette to create some color on those cheeks. And with the same Fashion Blush palette we're gonna create the rosy cheeks. Time to pay some attention to those eyes. So Vanellope doesn't really wear any makeup. 
but of course she does have something there. So this is the first color I use from the Fashion Blush palette. I'm just using it on my eye as well. And I'm putting a bit under my eye because I will color my waterline white in a little bit. I don't want my eyes to kind of disappear on my face. So this little bit of powder should help to define my eyes. So I'm starting out with this color in the Fashion Blush palette for the nose. I'm just putting it on there, making a nice circle shape. And then also using the pink to get that real nice Vanellope red nose. Now I have a white pencil liner by Ben Nye and with that I'm going to color my waterline white. I really want to make it white. And the black water-based face paint by Meron for an eyeliner. It is time for the lips. So Vanellope has very narrow lips. I don't, so that is why I put concealer over them at the start of this video. And with this wheel, this is the Natural Glow Cream Rouge wheel. I will put a new lipstick on there. So I will just pick a natural looking color and create my new lips. Now the makeup is basically done. I'm quickly gonna put in my contacts. So these lenses are called Beautiful Brown. I know that Vanellope actually has green with brown eyes but these are the closest I have to the lenses so they are called beautiful brown and they are by Ericona we have them at our store of course uh, so I put my wig cap on to get the Vanellope wig on my head um, this was a very cheap wig I haven't fitted it yet um, but I suspect that it isn't really the Vanellope hair that it should be um, but let's get it on my head so for starters, it's very small. My natural hair comes out from under the wig. That's okay, I will put all this hair. Ooh. Oh my God. I think I will do the ponytail again on this wig. So there you learn again that you should never buy a cheap wig if you want to do a nice makeup. So I'm not really happy with the wig, but luckily I can still just glue some candy on there. So these candies are quite large for Vanellope, but I decided to use them anyway. These were the only ones we still had at home. I think I ordered a kid's wig. And there it is, the hoodie. So with that, my Vanellope makeup tutorial from the movie Wrecked Ralph is complete. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel in the link below to stay tuned on all our videos. We have a new makeup tutorial every day till Halloween, so I say definitely stay tuned.